I've always known what I've wanted to be. It took a matter of convincing my parents that this is what I wanted to do. So I settled on uh, uh, studying a practical um, degree that in case of war or famine or anything, I could uh, work in a certain um, sector and not worry about it. So uh, knowing that I've always wanted to be in events and design, I. Um, I chose to study educational psychology through art and music in uh, the American University of Beirut. And Beirut is known for its art and its culture and its design and it's everywhere. So I was very inspired that every single corner of Beirut had something unique and creative going on at the time I was studying there, which was 2000 to 2005. Uh, during my uh, university years, I decided to work for event planners, uh, work for florists, work for interior designers, anything I could do um, so that I could uh, keep on going on uh, yeah, I mean, with my degree because it wasn't really something I loved. It was something I was interested in, but not something I loved. So upon graduating from university, I did a lot of courses because there's not, you cannot go and study event planning. You cannot study design uh, the way I do it. Uh, so what I did was I did practical work. I did as many courses. Um, I did any um, interning that I could do from London, uh, I did some courses in Paris, I did courses here in Kuwait and I worked and I interned in Kuwait until I, um, until I was able to get a job in event coordinating and catering position at Araya and then when I felt I had a little bit of confidence and I could do uh, what I wanted to do, I applied to Le Nôtre. I got rejected and then I got accepted. I worked there for three years as their um, in-house designer, in-house coordinator. I created all their events and any client that wanted something on a smaller scale created in-house, I did it for them. And um, then I felt like after three years, I was ready to start on my own. So that's how I started. A lot of time I say I'm going to quit, I'm not going to do this, I'd rather sit at home. I have um, the bakery, I have the flower shop, creating product is easier than dealing with clients. And then just when I'm about to say, that's it, خلاص, I'm done, I don't know what it is. It's like I, I go to bed, made a decision, I wake up, I'm full of energy and full of like, let's rebrand, let's redo, let's do it all again. And I don't know, I just, I just guess, like, like I said, from high school, from middle school, I, even from elementary, having fun and throwing events and making people happy and creating like one night of forget about everything else let's just have a good time that's something i love and i guess it just keeps me going because it's in me it's not something i put in my head like i need to be this no it is part of me so i feel that's what pushes me on it's been really a roller coaster it goes up and down i don't have any business background and I'm quite stubborn, so I don't listen to advice or... I do listen, but it doesn't click for me. So I make all my mistakes a couple of times and then I learn and I move on. Um, and I see, does it work? It doesn't work and then I take the next step. So what I did was I started my own company. Uh, it was 2007 before the big recession hit Kuwait um, everything was big events were huge budgets were huge so I built up a really good team of people to be part of my company and my vision um, so our team got really big and and we were doing great and then recession happened and it dropped so I still had overheads I still had staff I still had things so I kept on going up and down up and down I but what happened was is I'm really a bad business person I could never get rid of staff so I just I, I made the company suffer, but I wouldn't fire people. And of course, people find other jobs and move on, but um, I, I, I find that like in my journey, I'm learning more about business than I'm learning about design. And um, it's, it's been fun. It's very stressful sometimes. It's very, um, uh, it takes a lot of your time. It takes a lot of your weekends. You're a bit too tired for social obligations sometimes, but I feel like I'm on a journey and there's something where I want to reach and I haven't reached it yet, so it's worth it. I really believe that if you are good at design and if you are good at 
um, your creative person, then that's always going to be there. And it doesn't matter if you reach that point later or earlier, it's fine. I believe that what you should do is get as much practical knowledge as, as you can. I mean, the one good thing is I did stick it out. I stayed working for catering and uh, restaurants um, and banqueting. I did that for four years and I learned the, the background. I learned, I learned the hard stuff. I learned what it's like to have a team, what it's like to not just set up, but to remove everything in time before the next event planner came in. And I, I learned all the nitty gritty details. And if, and if I hadn't done that, then I wouldn't know what to do today. I'd kind of be clueless. And when working with other kind of professionals, I feel I'd be just not be as knowledgeable. So my recommendation is to get as much practical knowledge and try and try to try to intern, push yourself, try to make yourself um, seem needed to the person. Um, take as many jobs as you can and just gain experience because experience on someone else's um, behalf is better than you making a lot of mistakes yourself. Don't have a big head. I'm noticing that um, a lot of people, when I started, and I'm not even shy to say, when I started working, I used to get my ash 350 KD, and that was before Dam Amala. <laughs> kind of makes me feel very old, but, um, but 350 KD working from 9 to 5 p.m., then weekends and everything, but that was something that we did. That's a service industry, you're paid less, and you understand that, but nowadays, people come in, just graduated, and they want, like, really high salaries, and they want a position, and they want... Um, they want recognition and they want it quick. Um, I, I, I think that everyone needs to take it down a notch and be humble. Um, and that's my recommendation is be humble, gain as much experience as you can and take it easy. It's not a race. Everyone's up there to kind of like, I need to get big before this age and it's your journey. And um, that's what I'm learning. And that's why I'm chilling out a little bit more and putting less stress on myself now because uh, you need to enjoy it. My hope for women, and I've seen this happen a little bit, is careers are very short-lived, or they're hobbies, and they're expensive hobbies, they're not really jobs, and what I wish for girls is to really think about what they want to do from now and keep it going for a while, not just till you get married, not just till you have kids, is uh, own your career and your love for your hobby and make it make it a business, make it something that's part of your life and something that you can leave on as a legacy. And it could be something small, it could be something big, it could be from embroidery and textiles to business to law to anything that you want. But I just think that um, you should keep it and not get rid of it just because you've started a family. And these are things I think, it upsets me when people's aspirations kind of die out just because of that. So. I hope that um, girls are empowered to believe that their work and their skills can go on always. Definitely, we can do it. You try hard enough, you can do it, for sure.